All right, let's see. We had uh, one other topic, also kind of nutty. Okay, Wesleyan College. Wesleyan College, all women's uh, college. Uh, uh, you know, uh, um, really uh, one of the top universities, uh, certainly for women in the, in, in the country, in the world. Uh, liberal Arts College, quite liberal. Anyway, the Wesley student government voted this week to abolish all language of being a woman's college. They don't want to be a woman's college anymore. Uh, we'll see what kind of college they want to be, but abolish the, the, the term woman. And to use gender neutral terms like students or alumni instead of women. Also, they want to scrap all women specific admission criteria and to open instead to all gender non-conforming people. And it's interesting, it turns out that women, even though there is no such category according to them, but women are non-conforming gender people because they're not men. The only conforming gender is male, and they should not be allowed in the school. But if you're a trans man, trans woman, if you're a woman, I don't know if you're allowed to say you're a woman. I don't know if that actually constitutes a gender. Anyway, all those other options are banned, should be banned. They voted to open admission to trans men. So that according to them, there would be men, women, who identify as men is okay to be at Wesleyan, even though it's a woman's college. So I get why they would want uh, men who identify as women, because it's it's a woman's college, and you can include them. But the only ones they don't want, in other words, are men who identify as men. Um, they say the the school should be a place for all people who have trouble with their gender. I guess women have trouble with their gender, which means anyone who doesn't have a penis. Oh no, that doesn't count. You can have a penis, but if you identify with a woman, then you're okay. Sorry. I, 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 this is all very confusing to me. Um, so this is a, a student from class of 2024. This is, this is all today on, on Barry Weiss's Substack. Wesley uh, was founded as a woman's college because they wanted to create a safe and supportive learning environment for people who are maligned based on gender. Such a place should welcome and support trans women, trans men, and non-binary people as well. Past, present, and future trans and non-binary students at Wellesley should feel like the college has their back, acknowledge their identities, and supports their access to Wesley education. Now, luckily for Wesley, I guess, this referendum is not binding, and the administration has already rejected it. Um, there are some, it turns out there are some feminists and some lesbians indeed who are opposed to this and fight against this, but the administration of Wesley has rejected this, and Wesley will continue to be, at least for now, a woman's college, even though my guess is the administration would not probably define women if you ask them. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.